Right. Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this build of a 16mm scale Hudson Hunslet diesel loco. Uh, really quite short update today but I wanted to show you something that's a bit weird and a bit random. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd tell you where we're at. So um, having said in the last video I've been printing lots of parts for the people. Um, I've started printing a new set of parts for a uh, for this build. Um, so I'm basically starting from scratch, reprinting everything. Um, making sure so usually when I'm designing the things I might print one part at once um, as, I, as I've designed it but obviously if I need to print a, a set of parts uh, then it's better to batch them up so that I can make use of the the whole print area and cut down <clears throat> on the amount of time um, time taken so you can see for instance I've printed up two of the the attachments for the side doors um, that this is just so that you can lift it off the build plate easier um, I printed another one of the engine um, covers. Um, oh, I'm getting filthy in the box. Um, not removed the the support material yet, but it's printed nicely at the edges, um, which is good. So this just kind of all proves everything. Everything prints well. Uh, new set of buffers, floor, um, the axle boxes, um, <clears throat> the buffer beams. This I, I managed to snap it getting off the plate, but essentially it printed as a nice. There's a nice piece, um, kind of with everything everything in place. Um, these are the latest <coughs> uh, bits of the kind of back of the engine bay. So still, they're just there's, there's still there's no registration marks for these yet, but it's easy enough to line them up and glue them together. So I don't think that's a that's a problem. So that's all going nicely so far. Um, so while they were printing, I did I did turn my attention to um, the the kind of chassis. So if you remember. In a previous video, this one's this one's broken. Uh, where is it broken? It's broken here. Um, it's got a crack in it, so this needs reprinting. Um, but we also said that this part was wrong because um, it's wrong on my four millimeter version as well, apparently. But essentially, this uh, piece where it protrudes out should come straight across to the back, so it shouldn't go back in. This bit should be kind of popped further out. Um, so I've done the design work for that. I've designed it and I set it going um, on a reprint. And um, yeah, that that failed in horrible ways. Um, it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So this is how it came out of the printer. Now, um, <clears throat> often you get warping like this if it's not, you know, if it's not attached properly to the base plate when it was printing, because obviously it sags down as it as it as it's printing. But what's weird is the top surface. So this is what's attached to the build plate to start with. So it kind of prints this layer first and then. <clears throat> rises up and prints the rest downwards um, as you can see this was attached perfectly to the base plate but um, and it's printed like the first three or four layers which is what it does to um, it prints these at a, a kind of a longer period it takes longer to print each of these initial layers to make sure that it's really stuck to the base plate um, but when it's then switched to, to the faster time for the other layers it's um, it's well it's separated completely um, it's not stuck um, which has led to I mean I can, I can I haven't tried yet but I think I can peel this off completely virtually um, let's see well oh, no, it's cracking now where it's cracked all the way through the bottom but you can see that essentially it's just not it's just not attached um, and I have no idea why that happened um, it may be that I got a, a setting wrong or I mean I've changed I've changed resin recently so I've changed to a new bottle of resin it's supposed to be the same um, but I'm wondering if I need to give it slightly longer. Um, I'm not sure whether slightly longer on the bottom layers or slightly longer on all the layers. Um, I say everything else is printed as printed fine, but this obviously went completely and utterly um, wrong. <laughs> so um, yeah, I will be um, reprinting this. I might try um, upping the. I don't know what to up. I don't know whether to up the number of base layers initially so that it prints a bit further before it tries to separate or what I might have to I might have to do some experience I don't think it's a leveling issue I can I mean it's it, it peeled all the way across if it was a leveling issue I would expect it to only happen at one end um, or one side but it's done it kind of across the back entirely here and across this side and you can see it's also kind of doing it here um, but you can see I did fill in this this back edge um, had it been up here where it was supposed to do um, Everything will be fine. So anyway, I'll give this another another go. Um, as I say, given it's two and a bit hours to print, I'm not sure whether to 
just try it again and see if it works and whether this was a one-off um, or whether I need to mess with the um, with the settings uh, we'll see um, but yeah anyway the point is a bit more bit more modeling done hopefully um, sensible set of files for printing more sets in the future when I can get this one to print properly